Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft! My name is Twitchy and last time we worked on this traitor selector for a troubling terrorist town game. Today I wish to try and put an entire build around it so we have somewhere to actually play the game. But first, I have a small netherbound transport issue. Over here we have the portal that I have been using for the vast majority of my playthrough. This has been like all tuned up here. This is pretty nice looking good. Oh, I love this. I did this, but this... This build out here, I did not. I assume a man, Frank. This is the, p the portal to Turtle Island. It, Turtle Island is a build just a little bit. Oh, look at what he's been doing here. Sorry, guys. We're just going to take a moment to appreciate what's been going on in the nether. Looks like we've got some mushrooms, maybe some trees. I'm going to assume they're all glass mushrooms there. That's cool. But yeah, but this is not the portal to my place. If I come up and through here, you can see that this is very much not my my place of living. In fact, I, I, that's not even my place of living. It's the uh, the the... UFO landing zone. It's just the other side of those hills. These hills over here, we have my XP grinder, and over this way, we have the actual UFO and the landing zone. Uh, on the streams, the past couple of uh, couple of streams, we've been working on a few things around here. If I could just jump over. The one that I really want to show you guys, that it's a little bit of a work in progress. You can see it's coming together over there, is my giant mech that we're building. Uh, so the, the kind of the theme for this area is that the aliens landed, and then the military is kind of mobilized to come and be like, hey... What are you guys doing on our land? We've got, like, aliens spilling out here. I'm not sure how to make armor stands look like aliens. If anybody's got any ideas, let me know. And then I want to have, like, this sort of president man kind of guy here stood here behind a podium trying to give them a little bit of a speech. I think that would be hilarious. Anyway, in here, I need to grab some obsidian. I have a fair bit of obsidian, it turns out. Okay, that's pretty cool. And we need to go through this portal here. Uh, I also need to get down some coordinates as well, because, of course, in the nether, the, uh, the each block is worth eight overworld blocks, if you will. For every block you travel in the nether, you go eight overworld. Um, and th these guys are going to be the, the, the soldiers, by the way. I'm going to capture one. I'm going to put it in the tank. I'm going to give him, like, a helmet and stuff. In here needs work. If anybody has any ideas for details to put inside here, the uh, comms tent is going to be, uh, then let me know. But first, let's get some coordinates. All right, and uh, Wise is just logged in. Brilliant. And I've taken those coordinates, and I have divided them by eight. This is giving me the coordinates 133 by minus 128. Oh, 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 which way do I need to go? Over that way. Oh, man, we're going to be in the lava. I'm kind of all right with that. Let's try and just try and pinpoint this where we can, though. I've got a nice little pickaxe here, so one, three, three. I'm looking at the... Uh, so, if you look on my top left of my screen, you can see that we've got, like, Minecraft, 50 frames per second, Spigot Server, CEP, Multiplayer Chunks, Minecraft The Nether, and then just underneath that, got XYZ. Those are the coordinates, if you guys weren't aware. I do find a lot of people that come onto the server actually don't know how to use the coordinate system, so that's where they're at. Uh, I'm looking for 133. Of course, I've got it wrong. Uh, there, there we go. 133 by minus 128, which is very definitely off over this way. I'm going to make this safe to walk along as well. Okay, this is a little inconvenient, but not the end of the world. It needs to be right here on this block here. Okay, so let's do this. We're just going to do a relatively subtle... Well, no, am I? Am I going to do a relatively subtle one? I'm here with like 50-odd bits of obsidian. No, I don't think I'm going to do a subtle one. We're, we're going to go out at least this wide, and then we're going to go three, uh, two out on the other side as well. Uh, let, yeah, let's go up here. We're gonna. What, what sort of what sort of um, ratio to side do we want here? I always find it's best to go for about a three to two, but we'll 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 see. We'll see. Mm, I just realised they didn't bring any fire resistance potions with me. This this might have been a bad play. And do you know what else might have been a bad play? I don't have an ender chest or a flint and steel on me. I've got a bit of flint, no steel. Thankfully, I should imagine my good buddy Mad Frank has an ender chest around somewhere. I can't imagine that he's so poor that he doesn't. Let's uh, let's have a good good dig old round and see what we can find. Ah, uh, here it is. Brilliant. All right, let's just grab one of those. I was going to be like, oh, no, maybe I was wrong. Maybe he is that poor. I was going to drop him around one, but nope, nope. There is one just there. Now I need this over here. Ah, oh, I can't believe someone's turned off the music box. Why, why would people do this? I should imagine it was actually Mad Frank himself, but I'm just going to be like... Mm, yeah, getting down to some sick beats. I'm always surprised how steady this is for just having two people on. As soon as you get a third person on, it all just, like, starts losing beat and stuff. But two people works out really well. Unless the three people are actually stood around here at the same time and the server's not loading extra chunks, that also is good times. But there's a boat over there. 
All right, I think this is going to work. Yeah, look at it opening up like that. Beautiful. I think we'll probably, for reasons of safety, let's uh, just go through here and try and not get teleported. Let's jump about so it doesn't do it. Uh, I want to put a little wall on the back here. I'm not saying that I'm the type of person to just start running out of a portal and end up falling in the lava. But, you know, that, that could conceivably happen. So uh, let's, let's just make it a little bit safer. And hopefully, if everything has worked out right, we should now see some mechs. And man, these portals are noisy. All right, cool. I've got a feeling, because I came out facing this way, that I actually want to turn the portal on the other side, like, on its angle a little bit. But, yeah, this is cool. All right, first job done. The other side of the nether will be requiring a lot of dressing, much like this place. I don't know exactly what I want to put on the other side. But given that the theme is that the army are coming through to watch these guys, I think we need, like, some sort of army checkpoint. Maybe a couple of pigmen with some name tags uh, standing in between something, you know, like a, a bunch of half slabs with a block above their head so that they're, like, stuck in place doing name checks and stuff. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, some documents. Yeah, I think, I think that would work out well. The real question we've got to make, of course, is uh, when we get some leather armor, what's this guy, these guys' uniforms going to look like? Okay, so the first thing I've done is players are going to get trapped if they get let in here in any less than three at a time, right? So I've set up this situation where they have to press all three buttons to open the door. If I take out these two torches, it's like they press the button, right? I'm sure you guys are aware if you press a button, torch goes out. Did you see that go out? Let's do it again. Press the button, torch goes out. And as is wonderfully demonstrated, the door opens up beautifully. I need to put a couple of pressure plates on the other side. Maybe some sort of extension to that. Maybe we can go down here and have a look and I'll show you exactly what we could do to do it. Uh, so this is like a, a, a one wide... Thing. Uh, the only reason that I've only done it one wide is because we've got like other stuff over here, like just just over here. Oh, ooh. Uh, hey, oh no, 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 no. I put down torches to stop that. Why is that happening? Hold on, I I got to deal with this right now. Turns out, wise my boy had the snipe on it. He followed me up the the ladder. Would you believe it? I I barely did. I barely did. All right, let's come down uh, here. Oh, no, let's come down here. Uh, I'm going to extend these pulses out just a little bit. Let's see if that actually works like that. Hopefully, that's going to give us a bit more time to get through the door. It was just the first approximation of a system. No, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's... That's fine. That gives people enough time. The next thing I'm going to do, as you can see, is I want to do this pattern on this wall over here. Now, it's not quite going to be perfect. I didn't want to do that. I want to take my food off of there. Uh, it's not going to quite be perfect because this is like a four high. We've got like three high over here. There's, there's going to be all sorts of problems here. Uh, but we're going to go through and try and do this. What's the, what's the inner, inner OCD? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go through. We're going to take these out. We're going to uh, put in a whole new... Uh, a whole new design along here, and I'll bring you back when that has been done. Okay, just a quick check-in. I don't have much to report other than I've rolled out all this glazed terracotta here, but I had a feeling that when I did this, you guys would want to have a good old look and watch it happening, because it's what we in the industry call quite satisfying. Mm-mm, let's follow this down. The best thing about Depth Strider is I get to just kind of follow it along. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So I've made my way back to the mining desert. I was about to call it the mining mesa, but it's not a mining mesa. It is a mining desert because obviously I'm building a tower and I need sand. Let's go around and pick up this XP from whoever did this. But there is a bit of a problem with the transport to and from the mining district. I have had to take a boat from a forest because this portal... This portal is not connected where you would expect it to be. Now, thankfully, I have gone through. I've written down the coordinates for this, and we're going to go into here, and we're going to fix this little problem just to help the server get on a little bit better. All right, so this has brought us out into Forest Portal. This is, uh, you know, this is this is expected. This is where I expected to be. Uh, that is spawn just over there, uh, and I need to figure out where we're going to be going. Oh, it turns out we're going that way quite a bit. We'll have to uh, do something to make this uh, this dirt path a little bit better. In fact, we've got a little bit too far this way, but that's no problem. I should imagine people were just coming this way to try and get themselves a little bit of magma block. That's cool. Right, I need to go back to 75 on the Z. And we actually want to get 151. 
So I've come out the other side, and look, there seems to be something here. I wasn't expecting this. Let's go over and have a look, shall we? I shouldn't really dig up like this in the nether. It's a quick and easy way to end up getting a like, face full of lava. But let's go over and have a look. We're still not quite where we needed to be, though. I mean, that's... What is this? Why would, why would you build this? All right, I still need to go over that way. I've got a feeling we're going to end up like just over there or something. One, five, one. It's still distance away. I'm really curious as to where this is, though. Okay, so that's forest. This is the path from the nether portal. Uh, not the nether portal, sorry. The nether fortress. So, yeah, I, I suppose that's all right. I suppose that's okay. Uh, we definitely still need to go this way. I'm not sure why they would do this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there was a bunch of glowstone up above or something like that. Oh, starting to run out of food. That's not great because I've also got a whole bunch of uh, digging to do after this. All right, that's our portal built. Let's throw a quick safety bar up so people don't go immediately walking into the lava. It's something that could happen. I put chiseled sandstone up to indicate that it is indeed uh, the mining desert. But I'm also going to put down some stuff. Okay, mining desert, come and get your sand here. This portal needs decorating, because it does. It, it really, really does. So let's go through. Still got the safety wall on the back, so we should be fine. Hopefully, we are exactly where we wanted to be. All right, I'm going to get rid of all this netherrack and stuff, because blah, I don't need all this. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, go around and collect up a bunch of sand. You know, I'm going to take one of those, one of these, and then the rest is for sand. It's amazing how much uh, unbreaking does for you. If you remember last time we were here, we filled up our inventory with sand. Oh, that is that is that it? That's it. Let's put this down so we're not wasting it. You're not going to give it to me? Oh, I see. We've got in 24. So, yeah, last time we were here, uh, we broke the entire, entire shovel that we had. And now with this, that only has unbreaking three. Other than that, exactly the same shovel barely touched it barely touched it so i think that's a lesson for us all if you're gonna make a shovel put unbreaking on it right now we have done the thing that we got, we're here to do so i'm gonna go back i'm gonna make a load of glass and we're gonna go carry on with the trouble in tourist tower build <laughs> so honestly i'm not overly impressed with the top floors of what i've done here and so I, it it's a very functional building material it definitely looks very very urban but it doesn't look very sci-fi and in fact looks a little bit drab and boring but i love the way these windows come in over the top of all this. So, I'm, I don't know, I'm conflicted. I am conflicted there. But all in all, I think I'm about halfway through doing the build over here. Not the height-wise, I think we've got the basic outline of the shape. We just need to go around and do some detailing and some finishing up of some systems here. But I want to kind of walk you through some of the redstone that I've done here, because, man, I've got some nice stuff here, and I want to want to show it off. So let's go down to the bottom floor. First off, it's not carpet, it is a uh, wool block because uh, the, the interface with the water would be horrific, right? The interface with the water would be horrific. Okay, so let's just assume that I'm a hungry, hungry traitor and I'm going to eat my potato. Uh, and then I come in here and I'm like, great, I'm a traitor. I've got to kill someone. How do I do this? But of course, I've put all my stuff into the chest back there, right? So I don't have any of this lot on my bar, right? I... I am just a, a peasant with some potatoes. So I need to try and figure out how I'm going to kill these other two, maybe four players uh, with my other traitor buddy. Maybe. Maybe I'm on my own. Maybe I'm all on my own. Well, anyway, we can come up to this first floor here, where is like a, we got a like, little, little kitchen area, kitchenette, if you will. Uh, and then a toilet, maybe? Needs, needs dressing up much better. Needs much more dressing. But we got ourselves a toilet. Now, this one is just kind of confusing. Let's, let's ignore that one. That's a return for afterwards. But this one is the traitor toilet. Deposit map for a weapon. Okay, so I'll come over here. I'll uh, get the map in my hand. I'll throw it in the, in the thing. Oh, it gives me the map back and a beating stick. Now, this beating stick could be anything. It could actually dispense a stabbing McStab stab or something like that. I mean, I, I don't know exactly what it will be giving out yet, but I think something uh, amazing is called for. I'm going to uh, put this back in here. Maybe, maybe... <clears throat> Maybe we'll make some sticks with some uh, some serious enchantments on them. I mean, that would be that's not what I wanted. Maybe that that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. But anyway, so you've got your sword and you've made managed to hide it because of course this whole thing is fraught with danger. It's fraught with your innocence possibly uh, finding out who you are. So just the fact that you even walk in here is probably going to be suspicious. That I want to. I don't know, maybe give some sort of reasoning for it. You can see that I've got like this little notchway cut out here and you can kind of come up. So you're kind of like, why are you in there? Oh, I wanted to come up and 
look around up here, right? You know, there needs to be duality for just about everything. But what you're actually after is the toilet, of course. I'm not sure whether I want to put some stairs around here, make this look a little better. I don't know. I feel like we can make it look a lot better, but I'm not entirely sure how. Uh, okay, so well, anyway, we're finished on this. Oh, well, I say we're finished. Let's have a look outside here. Looking beautiful. Maybe we want to put some smoking sh shed out here or something. But anyway, th this is like the, the office staff room level, if you will. This is where people go to smoke, the toilets, the kitchenette, blah. Okay, going up, we've got sort of the cubicle area, if you will. The place where people come, the, the, the plebs come to do the work, if you will. The people who are lower level. I need to put an extra slab under there. I can't believe I missed that. Uh, lower levels in the companies, working little cubicles, have this beautiful, beautiful open balcony that I don't know what to do with, but they're around here. You can see um, there's these little jumpways up here, and there's, there's dispensers all around them. Now, these dispensers, I'm going to try and put various things like this that you get caught up on, and you're like, ah, I can't try and get through there. It's not going to be overly difficult, but it's just just a little bit extra traction just to, just to help, because over here, there's this button. You see that? Did you see that? You press the button, and you can see that some dispenser gets um, uh, some lava gets dispensed. That's the words I'm looking for. Uh, we've got a torch. We've got a hopper. There's another hopper on the other side. There's a comparator under here, redstone dot, and that touches all of these dispensers. Uh, and that's a double pulse that gets given out there. It's not spam proof. If someone comes through just like mashing up the button, you can end up with just, uh, lava flowing out on the floor. But I'm uh, kind of all right with that, given the context of the game. Uh, and anyone who comes along and spams it for the equal amount of time or whatever can just take the take the lava back. Uh, and the whole reason that you would even want to go past the lava is because up here we have a... Oh. And the whole reason you would even want to go past the lava is because up here we got a little secret room. Uh, can't get, can't be got from from this floor. Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty sweet. You got a, an easily defendable place here, uh, so you can like protect yourself from a traitor that's got like ridiculously good tools or something like that. Uh, and next floor up, uh, that's it's a bit of a weird one. This floor wasn't actually going to exist. I just looking from the outside when I built the two floors, I was like, we we need another floor. It just it just didn't sit right in the space. So I threw up this. This floor with a bunch of offices. Now, obviously, this is all just like completely bare space. You can see like snow. You don't get much more bare than that. But we can put a bunch of um, desks down and some some stairs and some, I don't know, filing cabinets and other other office related stuff. I kind of feel like the door actually wants to be here. But at that point, why would you even go down? Oh, I suppose this one. Hmm. 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 Thinking. OK, yeah. Well, anyway, next floor up is the least developed. It's my roof. Uh, there's not even air conditioning units up here. So. Pretty much all I've done most of the redstone. I, I I still feel like they need some sort of way for the innocents to kill people. I'm not sure. But most of the redstone done. Now we just need to go around and detail it proper. So, funny story for you guys. This is the second time I have stood here and gone, I think this game is fully playable now. Last time, though, not only... Was I recording the wrong microphone socket? <clears throat> yeah, super professional. But also, the test, it did not go well. It did not go well at all. So I've gone around, I've fixed a few things that I think needed fixing, and I'm here to tell you that I think uh, Trouble in Twitchy's Tower, as we are now calling it, is uh, it's operational and ready to go. There's a couple of things I need to show you, though. Uh, mostly we'll do them through the medium of a full-scale test, but first I want to show you the end condition, how the innocents will win. Let's come on down here, because I have put down a dispenser. A disp well, I've put down all this stuff here. Look at this. It's disgusting, right? But we've got this dispenser with some items in it. What I'm actually going to do is set up a, a cactus grower back there and then every time a cactus grows it'll pop into the dispenser way into a hopper which pushes into the dispenser but this dispenser fires when the um the main gates are open if you will when the when the round starts the dispenser fires out an item which will sit there for five minutes You've got exactly five minutes terrorists traitors whatever to go around and kill the innocents uh at the end of the five minutes obviously the item will despawn and this hopper here has an item in it and they're gonna ping back and forth bum, 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 bum. uh this changes the signal strength here 
Uh, believe it or not, working with signal strength again. And I've got a, an observer here, which doesn't actually need to see redstone dust turn on and off. It just needs to see the signal strength change. So that's all good. That goes up to the elevator or lift or bubble column or whatever you want to call it. There's an observer underneath here. This is the observer we were literally just looking at, that one there. Uh, and that passes a signal onto a note block. Now, a note block with an item on top of it, with a block on top of it, won't make a noise. But the game still thinks it's updated. It's got power power running through it. So the observer goes, yeah, much like the uh, change of redstone signal isn't turning redstone on and off, the uh, change of an update to the block isn't the fact that it's done something. It's just that it potentially could do something. Kind of. Anyway, so if it, this picks up that. That passes it on to this one, which does the same, does the same, blah, blah, blah. And then we've got note blocks running up here that actually have some sort of way of making noise. If we turn up and around here. Yeah, note blocks. Great, right? So all the way up, just to make sure everybody can hear. What I actually want to do is replace these with glowstone lamps. But I don't have the glowstone. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's what's going on there. Right, with everything done, shall we do a full-scale test? Let me just come down here and make sure that I did indeed could put maps inside this. Now, one place that I'm fairly sure it's going to break is this plat this uh, pressure plate here. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't seem to send its signal through. Should we, should we do that now? I mean, I'll watch that go. Let's just start doing it. Okay, slight problem with the music. It's going to carry on doing that until all the maps... Ooh, we just watched that go. Until all the maps have been dispensed. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know what I do, but it's going to be like a four times the size circuit or something like that. There's a little bit of lag going on with all these particles here, but I'm kind of all right with that. What we're going to do instead is watch four maps being dispensed. Oh, look at that. It went and got dispensed onto the floor there. That's sweet. So what I'm actually going to do... Uh, two. Beautiful. Beautiful. Did they just stack up here? They did. I'm going to grab those. So they must be innocent. All right, cool. Uh, third one. I heard a click. Why did I hear a click but no dispense? Okay, there it goes. All right. I mean, it's a safe system. It will carry on going until it can't go anymore, I think. Depends what the cock downstairs is doing. All right, let's see what this one does. That was a traitor map. Okay, nice. This one here as well now. Okay, what have we got here? An innocent, maybe? Yep, an innocent. Okay, cool. I mean... Now it's 50-50. Now it's 50-50. If this one ends up being traitor, I'm a little bit worried that we've got them in the order that they were dispensed. But... Uh, 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 uh. But, you know, that there is a random chance that that will happen anyway. Okay, so this now fires out. Hopefully the last time the dongs have stopped now. Okay, that's the, all the maps dispensed. And now... Go and have a look at the clock and... Try and find out why the door hasn't opened. The door should have been opened. The music stopped, so, I mean, it's obviously gone the right way. Good, proper things have happened here. Yeah, yeah, that's been dispensed. Okay, so, the the pulse got sent out. It just didn't make it to the doorway. Okay, I will investigate that, because there is literally only one line of redstone it can be, and it is this line of redstone right here. I'm going to push that and just say that they got let out. Maybe it's signal strength. Maybe, maybe, maybe we've not gone far enough. But now that we've got that, we can come a. Oh. Oh. How? 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 Okay, so I've taken them off the pressure plates. Okay, somewhere I need to have a pulse generator, uh, one of these monostable circuits, rather than a signal strength. I don't know where it is. It's something that's happened. I, I will rip this apart. But then everyone comes spilling out of here. This this won't actually be open. That will be closed. People come spilling out of here. Everyone's going to be like, ooh, what's going on? Uh, but the uh, the smart terrorists out there would come running up. Let's say that I am a traitor. will come running up and immediately put this in here. Uh, you get dispense that and a stick. At the moment, I need to uh, need to throw a good weapon in there. But you've now got your beating stick. You can run around. You can hit people. There's nothing in the kitchenette at the moment. Uh, I kind of want to put some stairways and stuff down to make it a little bit more uh, awkward to get around here. But as I say right now, it is just playable. You've got this button here, as I say, to dispense lava and pick it back up. It's uh, not spam proof, but, you know, that's all good. But up here, we have an Innocence hideout. Oh, let's let's go around here and try and get back out. Okay, Innocence hideout, as I was saying. Up here, we've got a dispenser. I actually wanted to build one of those map dispenser things where you throw an Innocent map at it, but, you know, this episode has got long enough already. And then you just kind of, like, fight it out. Either the traitors will win with their one weapon, or the Innocents will last long enough with their one shield. Uh, and that that will be the game.
Ooh, let's come all the way up here. Of course, we do have other areas down down here. I, I again, want to put all sorts of things in, in these items here. Maybe a, a wooden sword for people to try and defend themselves with and stuff like that. And up on top, I think this is where actually a traitor tester is going to be sitting around. Something that compares maps. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. We're actually going to go work on a uh, witch farm. And I hope very soon to have some sort of video of me and my friends playing this together watching the armor stands do the bits it was fun you know showed that the whole thing is functional but mostly this game isn't about the redstone oh oh it isn't about the redstone it's about the fun you f have with your friends so i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye